sun salutations, maybe a couple of, we'll call them bonus postures, <laughs> but a quick practice. I'm going to start pretty quickly too. Just come on down, child's pose, seated, wherever you want to go. Just let's say about 10 breaths. So not a long pause here. And if you need to bring some movement or if you're ready to, you can do that right now. Okay. Take a couple of side stretches here in child's pose. Come off your tabletop. It's earlier than usual for me to practice. So I basically just rolled out of bed. And everything feels like I just rolled out of bed. About five more breaths. So if you're ready, you can take it to downward facing dog. When you are ready, go there. Pedal your feet, shake your head out, shift your hips around. Mm. Feel your hands and feet connecting to the mat. Coming into that mindset of just observing and practicing awareness and noting what's happening in your body without attaching a lot of story, a lot of adjectives. So take a deep breath in. As you empty, let your head and your heels drop. Inhale, take your right toes high. Exhale, go for a bend and reach. So just take one more breath in. You can reach up and then flip gently to the floor. Inhaling forward to high plank. Exhaling through. Up dog as you're ready to breathe in and then downward facing dog. And feel free to modify, skip out, change it up however you want to guys. So take a breath in here. Empty, empty. And then lift your left toes high. Bend and reach over. Be here and breathe out. Take another breath in. You can lengthen up. And this time walk your feet right up to your hands for a little right go. So moving through kind of quickly. You can let your hands hang. You can catch up with any variation here that you like. But just a couple of breaths. Release your hands and heel toe your feet in a little closer. On your inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way to mountain. Exhale, take a side bend right. Inhale, back through center. Take a side bend left. Come back to the middle and fill up. And then bow all the way down. Halfway lift, inhaling, high to low push-up, exhale, mini variation. Follow your breath through, back to downward facing dog, full breath in, long breath out. Stay for just one more, breathe in. As you get empty, bend your knees, look forward, step or float up. Inhale halfway, exhale fold, again rise and reach, press strong through your feet, another side bend, any variation, the inhale takes you back to your center, and the exhale takes you over in the other direction, inhale reach up, exhale fold all the way down, halfway lift, lengthen, High to low. Upward facing, back to downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. Stay for one more, just like that. Fill up, get all the way empty. Look forward and step or float. Halfway lift. 
forward fold. Rise to your mountain pose. Any variation on the twist. So you just follow your breath through. Ready to fold forward. Inhale to lengthen. High to low plank. Up. And all the way back. Take one breath in. Get completely empty. Step or float. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Rise all the way up. And then sink to chair. Take a breath in here and lengthen through your fingertips. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Let the crown reach. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sweep it back. Inhale up. Exhale, arms sweep back. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. High to low plank. Upward. Back to downward dog. Right foot's going to step from warrior one. Bring it up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And on your exhale, either tap the forearm to the thigh as the left arm reaches up or sweep the right arm back, left arm over. So inhale, reverse. And I like the sweeping motion. But you have that option to tap the thigh. Inhale, reverse. One more time with that sweeping motion. Now inhale, reverse. And with your exhale, you're gonna go left hand down, right arm high, back heel lifts for a dragonfly twist. Breathe in, get long, fingertip to fingertip. As you empty out, a little rotation. Take one more deep breath in. And then a high to low push up. Upward facing dog. Back to downward dog, left foot steps. Inhale, rise to one. Exhale, open up into two. Same options. Inhale, reverse. And on your exhale, you can either tap or sweep. Inhale, reverse. Exhale. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, last sweep. Good. Inhale, reverse it. And now the right hand goes down, back heel lifts. Left arm to the sky. Deep breath in. Little rotation. Take one more inhale. Hands to the mat. Upward facing dog. Back to downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Empty it out. Let your left toes reach high. And take the knee to the nose or the forehead. Toes high. Nose or forehead. Take your toes up. <laughs> Bring them through. Squeeze your core and then go ahead and step for crescent lunge. So we're going to plant the feet a little wider. And we're going to come up to stand. Whew. Back heels lifted. All ten toes are forward. Take a breath in here. And empty it out. And like we did before, inhale, arms up. And with your exhale, sweep your arms back. So find your both pose. Find this line of energy from the left heel to the crown of the head. I might have you take this to warrior three, so your upper body will be parallel to the mat. Hands can reach back, they can reach forward. I'm going to remind you to heart center just to help me land the balance. Give that a little shift of weight. If you want to flex your back foot, point all your toes down towards the mat. Strong and steady here, breathing. You got it. Awesome. Fill up. And empty out. Good. 
just one more breath here. We'll take it back to warrior two. So you're gonna let that back foot land. You might have to adjust your feet just a tiny bit. Flip your front palm, take a reverse triangle. So straighten your front leg, reach up and back, and then we'll come into triangle on this right side. Left arm high. You can float the hand, you can use a block, a shin, a thigh, whatever serves your body best. We're not staying anywhere too long today, <laughs> so give yourself a couple more breaths. See where you feel that landing in the body, like where you're creating more space, where there might be room to offer a little more breath. Awesome. One more inhale up, and then we're going to come down and around for a wide straddle. So feet are wide, hands at shoulder width, elbows straight back, crown toward the floor. Just a few breaths here. Stay for another inhale. Empty that out. And then come up to the halfway lift point. Rotate your toes. We're going to come in to runner's lunge facing the front of the mat. Mm. Find the strength in that pose. So left heel to crown the head. Link all the way through your body. You got it. You can stay right here. Fingertips down. You could take the arms back. There's a bind. Bind those down and around. There's lots of different options from here, but just holding it for a few breaths. So coming into the strength of the legs. We can be playful. You can explore. You can make up your own variations, guys. Good. One more breath here. And then let the left hand come down. We're going to step right to side plank. So either you can drop the left hand or the hip. You can stack the feet on top of each other. You can take a tree leg or a leg lift. Any variation you like. But come into your side plank. Find your breath. Push away from what's in contact with the floor. Awesome. Take one more breath in. Reach up. And then chaturanga. Low push up. Upward facing dog. Back to downward facing dog. <laughs> Good job. Take a breath in here. Breathe out. Left toes reach high. And it's knee to nose or forehead. Toes up. Knee to nose or forehead. Toes reach way up. Bring the knee forward again. This time we're going to step to crescent. So feet a little wider. Give yourself a chance to establish your base. Whew, come back to your breath. So I should take my arms up right now, but I'm kind of letting my breath slow down. So I'm going to go hands to heart center. Good. Inhale, you can lengthen up. On your exhale, you're moving towards that thunderbolt variation. Right? So... I always say, like, see the line of energy, but you don't have to look at me. I mean, like, see it in your body. Feel it in your body. If you think about it, you can probably get a visual. It's such a strong line from the heel, running all the way up through the core, out through the crown of the head. Right? You got that. We're going to move towards warrior three. So you can go arms forward and back, or to heart center. Get that shift of weight into the left leg. Flex to the right foot. Same long line of energy. A little shift in the orientation to the mat. So keep breathing. Fill up, fill up. Empty it out. Give yourself one more breath here. Gently step it back to warrior two. Just your feet as you need to. Ah, there's warrior two. Flip your front palm, reverse triangle. Right at the triangle pose, left side. And any variation that suits your body. It may look a little different than it did on the right side. That's okay. Listening to your body, to your breath. Where am I feeling this and how does it feel? Right? Those are the questions. Legs should be really strong and engaged here. Majority of the posture, I don't know. This is a strong pose. I mean, I definitely feel my legs working. But I can feel a lot happening through my core. I got a nice 
wide open quality to my chest, the heart opening quality. A little bit of back bend even here if you like. Go ahead, take one more breath up. And then bring your hands down. We're gonna skip the wide straddle on this side. You're gonna go right into the runner's lunge. So we're here. Finding that energetic line. We went through a couple of the different options. You can bind low, you can bind behind the back. Um, you can take the arms back. Kind of some, I don't know, we'll call this some kind of superhero variation, <laughs> but you find the one that works for you. I kind of did a humble warrior variation. I let my head drop inside the left thigh, ankle, and I'm doing a little rinse in my shoulders. Feels like the right thing to do. Take another breath. And as you release, you're gonna step to side plank. Now your right foot is the base or your right knee. Again, all those same variations are available to you. You take the one that's gonna work best. It may not be the same as what you did on the other side. Good. One more. Deep breath in. And your vinyasa. High to low. Upward facing dog. Back to downward facing dog. Come all the way through. Whew. <laughs> to your seat. We're going to do a really quick round of abs. And honestly, I'm going to call it then. So... Let's do one that's quick. You're gonna take your, well, take both legs up. How's that? Hands behind the head, elbows up to the side. Let your right heel drop to a hover. I'll tell you right now, heel to the ground will make this easier. So listen to your body. Right elbow to left knee. And then the leg and the arm move as far from each other as they can. And they come back together. So inhale to lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. We won't do too many of these. I can't talk <laughs> too much while we're doing them. But just slow, methodical. Listening to your body. Listening to your breath. Two more, just two more. Good. Squeeze. Lengthen. And squeeze. Awesome. Oh. <laughs> Release that. Plant your feet. Come right into bridge or wheel, just to counter. So crash your feet down, lift your hips up. Walk your shoulders under. We're gonna do five breaths from here. So letting yourself fill and empty. You got it, breath in, breath out. Fill up, let that go. I'm losing track today, <laughs> one more breath maybe. And then all the way back down. Knees can come to chest. Oh gosh, that feels good. Rock it out a little bit. One more round of abs. So legs go up. This time it's the left leg to a hover. So you're pulling your belly button down towards your spine, right? Left elbow to right knee. And then away. Together. And you lengthen. Ooh, you got this, guys. Keep breathing. Strong core. Makes a huge difference in practice. That I like to think in life. Maybe one more. Tap. Ugh. And stretch it out. Woo. All right, I'm gonna change this up just slightly. I want you to set up for Shavasana. So let your whole body relax on the mat. Whew. Whether that be on your back or your side or your belly. Set it up. If you needed a, one last posture, good golly, by all means take it. I'm going to read you a short meditation. And then I'm going to sign off. You can stay in Shavasana as long as you need Shavasana. Or maybe you're so warm now that you've moved into some deeper yin stretches. So I just wanna leave the ending of this a little organic so you can either rest or you can continue to stretch. So I <laughs> opened this book randomly today to a meditation and I thought this was very fitting. It says, it's okay, not, it's okay to not know. Sometimes we don't know what we want, what's next, or what we think our lives will look like down the road. That's okay. 
If the answer is, I don't know, then say it. Say it clearly and be at peace with not knowing. Sometimes the reason we don't know is that what's coming is going to be very different from anything we've experienced before. Even if we knew, we couldn't relate to it because it's that new and that different. It's a surprise. Sometimes the reason we don't know is that it would be too difficult, too confusing for us right now. It would take us out of the present moment, cause us to worry and fuss about how we could control it or what we could do to make it happen. Knowing would make us afraid, put us on overload, take away from the now. Sometimes our souls know that it's just not time for our conscious minds to know yet. Sometimes knowing would take us out of the very experience we need to go through to discover the answer we're looking for. And sometimes the process of learning to trust the process of going through an experience and coming to trust that we will ultimately discover our own truth is more important than knowing. The process of moving from what we don't know to what we are to learn is a process that can be trusted. It's how we grow and change. It's okay to not know. It's okay to let ourselves move into knowing. The lesson is trusting that we will know when it's time. Thanks for joining me for practice, guys. Again, feel free to stay in Shavasana to close your practice or to move into some deeper stretches. And I'll see you tomorrow.